Alright, in this video we'll show you how to project a waypoint. We were told to come to this park at this monument and in order to project a waypoint we need to specify a distance and a bearing. So in order to get started we need to hit the mark button to mark a waypoint and then we need to hit the menu key and you can see the sec second option which is project waypoint. We hit enter and we need to enter a bearing in degrees so we were told to enter 355 in this example and distance we're going to choose meters and we're going to enter 148 so let's enter that 148 done all right let's save it so now we do a find find another waypoint and which was number 11 and let's go let's go find it now so here we are pretty much at our uh, projected waypoint here and you can see that it brought us to a trailhead so we can continue to uh, walk so put down in the comments uh, why or how do you use projected waypoint so my ask well what's the difference between side and go Probably the only difference here is that uh, you can't really specify a distance if you're doing side and go. Here you're just uh, using uh, bearings and really specifying the distance. So, all right, that's how you do uh, projecting waypoint with your map 62.